Amelia Bedelia Unleashed, chapter 14. But let's talk about chapter 13. Remember that Baby got the prize, best in show. But then uh, Pierre got another prize. Was it um, most original grooming? Yeah, because they're not supposed to be, the dogs are not supposed to be dyed a different color. Okay, finally the answer. Amelia Bedelia's parents were too to, true to their word. On Sunday afternoon, they all got in the car to go get a dog. Are we going to the pet store by the mall? Asked Amelia Bedelia. No, said her dad. I thought we'd stop by the animal shelter for a dog. The, there by the pound. By the pound, um, said Amelia Bedelia. Is that how you buy a dog? Like potatoes or butter or something? Like how much it weighs? No. Of course not, said her mother. The town pound is where they keep lost or abandoned animals. The adopt-a-pet shelter tries to find them homes. That makes more sense, said Amelia Bedelia. If you bought a Great Dane by the pound, you'd have to be a millionaire. They're really big. They don't sell these dogs at all, said her father. They give them away. For free? said Amelia Bedelia. That's a better deal than two-for-one ice cream specials at Pete's Diner. Actually, said her dad, they're not quite free yet. You have to pay for their shots and a dog license. Daddy, you're always teasing me, said Amelia Bedelia. Dogs don't need license plates. No dog can run fast enough to get a speeding ticket. She's thinking about like on a car. As they pulled up to the shelter, Amelia Bedelia realized something. After all the different kinds of dogs she had seen and walked and cared for, she still had not decided what kind of dog would be best for her. She could hear the dogs barking inside the shelter. She wondered if one was calling to her. Amelia Bedelia and her parents met the director of the shelter, a lady named Wiggins. She was only too happy to help them. I'm retired now, she said, but I was a vet. Were you in the Army or the Navy or the Air Force? asked Amelia Bedelia. Dr. Wiggins laughed. None of the above. I was a veterinarian. That's a dog doctor, right? Or a pet doctor. For 30 years. Sweetie, said Amelia Bedelia's mom. We're going to wait here while you choose this. This is choose while you choose. This is your dog. You ought to decide for yourself which one is right for you. How will I know? asked Amelia Bedelia. As tears began to well up in her eyes, what if I make the wrong choice? Don't worry, honey, said Dr. Wiggins. You can trust yourself. You'll feel which one is right for you. I'll help. Now, let's go meet some dogs. As soon as they entered the kennel, the noise became deafening. That means super loud. Dogs of all shapes and sizes and colors wanted Amelia Bedelia's attention. Dogs were barking, yipping, yapping, and they were turning around and around to show themselves off. They were wagging their tails so eagerly, eagerly Amelia Bedelia thought their tails might fly off their rear ends all at once. As she walked down the long row of cages, Amelia Bedelia stopped to meet every single dog. All of the dogs acted like they would love to go home with Amelia Bedelia, all except one. Here's, here's how noisy it is. See, yip, yip, yip. Lots of noise. This dog was just sitting there alert but not bouncy, interested but not excited. It was adorable. It tilted its head to one side to look at Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia tilted her head and looked right back. I've seen a lot of dogs lately, but I have never seen one like that, said Amelia Bedelia, pointing at the dog. What kind is it? That dog is a mixture, Dr. Wiggins said. A mixture of what? asked Amelia Bedelia. She's a mixture of her mother and her father, said Dr. Wiggins. Gosh, said Amelia Bedelia, that sounds like me. You and everyone else in the world, look how cute it is. Oh, that's a cute dog. Oh, that's a cutie. Uh, you and everybody else in the world, said Dr. Wiggins. We're all mutt when, uh, when you come right down to it. She's just a mutt, asked Amelia Bedelia, just a mutt. Just a mutt? asked Dr. Wiggins. Why, a mutt can be the most wonderful dog in the world. With a mutt like this one, chances are you'll get the best of everything. The courage of a terrier, the friendliness of a spaniel, the brains of a poodle, the affection of a retriever, and the loyalty of a hound, all roll in, rolled into one. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. I never thought of it like that. Dr. Wiggins opened the cage door. Amelia Bedelia kneeled down to get a closer look, and the first thing that the dog did was to lick her cheek. Just once. 
Amelia Bedelia sat back and blinked her eyes, like Sleeping Beauty being awakened by a kiss. This is the one, said Amelia Bedelia. This is the dog for me. Good choice, said Dr. Wiggins. She's a sweetheart. There it is right there. Isn't it cute? Aww. She's a sweetheart. How adorable, said Amelia Bedelia's mother, when Amelia Bedelia and Dr. Wiggins returned to the office with the dog. You two look like you were made for each other. What's her name? asked Amelia Bedelia's father. Finally, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't take a while, said her mom. It's been a, it's been quite a saga, said her dad, but you got a dog at last. What are you going to call her? Finally, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm going to call her Finally Bedelia because I finally got, a, got what I wanted, a dog. After they had officially adopted Finally, everyone headed back to the car. That's a funny name, huh? Amelia Bedelia's father opened the back door, finally jumped into the back seat like she had done it a million times before, and they headed for home. Just so you know, said her dad, glancing in the rearview mirror, we're still working on that baby brother for you. Or baby sister, said her mother. Take your time, said Amelia Bedelia. I've got my own baby now. Look at it. The dog is in the car seat. That's cute. Amelia Bedelia rolled down her window, finally came over to sit on Amelia Bedelia's lap. She poked her head out the window. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to introduce her to Charlie, Diana, and Eric. She was sure finally would be Pierre's best friend. Amelia Bedelia stuck her head out of the window too. The breeze blew Finally's ears back, tickling Amelia Bedelia's face. Her hair mixed with Finally's furry ears until you couldn't tell where Amelia Bedelia ended and finally began. Dawn, dawn, dawn. Isn't that cute? That was a cute book. 